Hey guys, I haven't uh, seen any videos on this. I was trying to set this up today. I thought I'd just try and make it a bit easier for anyone else trying to do this. This is the Lime and Easy Shot Shell Reloader. So I found a manual online. I didn't see any videos anywhere, so I thought I'd just pop up a video on this. I'll just show you what I have. This is station two, so this is the I figure is the proper pieces for the primer uh, installation. It doesn't say 12 gauge on it, but it was in the box of 12 gauge stuff that came with this. So I'm putting the the big side up. I guess if we're using smaller uh, rifle primers in brass shells or something, you could use that side. I don't know if there's supposed to be a spring in there or not. Anyone that has one of these and knows more about this, feel free to chime in. That actually, uh, the centerpiece actually sticks up just a little bit higher than the bushing. So uh, when you're priming the shell, it'll set the primer. So I got a spent one here. Stage one, here's your depriming. Pull down, it'll center. You can pop out. There's the old primer popped out in the bottom there. Now we're primer free. So what I like to do is I take the primer that I got here and I just get it started rather than trying to sit in the center there. Put the uh, shell in that's going to come down and you'll see the shell sink down right to the top without pushing. I just give it a little turn there just to make sure it's seated nice and flat. And next you need to charge this. So I'm uh, putting black powder in mine. I will of course Find a better way to do this than this. Gotta get uh, a scoop going, but I'm just. I made four shells earlier and tested them, you might have seen the video. So now I'm just. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a little dish to put some black powder in and scoop it in properly. So that's loaded now. And then I'm going to take one of my holes. This here, it's on here, this is station three, and that's where you're going to put the shell. So you can put the shell into this, which spreads it open. You can put your wad in there. Sorry, I might have called that a hull earlier, but that's your wad. And you're going to use this to push that in there. That's all the way down. It's on a spring there. You can see it bouncing up and down. I just go down until the, the threads hit that. That was good enough for my load. So, And when you're down, you can pull your shot. So if you're using powder, you could have pulled the powder on this one here and drop powder down. I'm loading with black powder and I'm not running it through that. But I will pull the, the shot out. And that gives me my ounce and a half of shot. So you can see that that's got some shot in it. I'm using like number nine. Now I'm going to come to the back where this is and uh, that will start the crimp. So you can see that's started now. And I guess there's a difference between 8 and 6. So this is uh, made for 8. And then I come over here to the final one. Which is station 4 or 5, however you want to look at it. I think they call it 4 in the book. And this one here is going to finish the crimp and it's going to size that. And then uh, 
and you come back up, this rod here will hit this piece and uh, eject the shell. Put it down and get a nice shot, and you see the, sh the shell stuck in there. And that pops up all the way down to the ground. So, my shot being a little bit small, it's actually coming out the the hole in the top. It's not not small enough, so I'll probably just put a drop of a glue there or something just to seal that over. Or maybe even just smear some wax in it. So that's uh, a completed shell. And uh, if you saw my other video, I'm using these for cowboy. And after I shot them in the Stoger, they pop right out nice and easy. So now we just have to make about another 30 of them so I'll be ready for uh, the next match. Hopefully, I'll have enough time to get all that ready. And I've got to do some 4440 for the rifle. But I'm going away on a trip, and I don't know if I'm going to get enough time to get it all done or not. Hopefully, if not, I'll have to wait until the next match. Anyways, uh, that's it. Uh, if anyone uses this, let me know. This is another part. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be for. It's got a spring in it. And there was this disc here, Mark 12 gauge 2. So, if you're using this, uh, let me know. I don't know uh, where this fits into the press, what it's supposed to be. Uh, this might actually just sit here. That would make sense. It makes it easier to put in. So just figured that one out, possibly. Uh, if anyone knows what that piece is for, feel free to chime in. And uh, hopefully this video has uh, helped out uh, anyone else doing it. I don't know if it sits there, or maybe another one of those is supposed to sit there to center that. But uh, just putting it underneath uh, seems to center it okay anyway, so not too worried about that. But uh, that's a possibility that that goes there. Nope. It doesn't want to fit in that hole, so. Okay. You guys, uh, happy shooting.